Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and today is December 13. It's St. Lucy's Day, which means today is the day I'll tell you how you can maybe predict your weather for your area. And it only works for your area. So what I find here in New York won't be the same in Georgia or wherever, anywhere else. It's your weather in your area. Or that, even in dis different parts of New York. Or even different parts of New York. Like if I travel, like when I would travel to um, a different town even, it could be different. So it's right where I live that this weather is supposed to be more accurate, but it's not always accurate. It, it is, it's, it's like a guessing game. It's like any kind of weather. It's like the weathermen when they do their reports. They're, they've got equipment and tools that tell them what it's supposed to be, but it always doesn't fan out. So that's the same thing with this weather report. But it is December 13th, which is St. Lucie's Day. So tomorrow is the first day of writing down the weather. And what you will try to write down, I wrote it on a board, is you will write down the barometer. You will look at the barometer and see what it says. And you write it down. I try to do it every 15 minutes, do it every half hour. Try to remember to do it often. And then also write down the wind speed, if you know it. The wind direction, if you know it. And the temperature is very important because that will determine what the temperature will be in the warmer months, even though it's December that you're writing this temperature down. So like if you have a 40 degree temperature in December, chances are if that is for like May or June or July, you're gonna have a pretty warm temperature for that month, even though it says 40. And it starts the day after, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow you start writing down because it's the day after St. Lucie's Day is when it would start. Did I say everything on that board? Yeah. yeah. Well, what about precipitation? Oh, the precipitation. Yes. Did I? You didn't write that down. Oh, I forgot to write it down. You want to know if it's snowing, raining, ice crystals, or ice, whatever. Like in our area, we could have um, it just spitting like ice pellets it doesn't even it isn't even rain it isn't even snow it could be just ice and so you write that down and you try to write down the time that all this is happening like i will tomorrow morning when i get up the earlier you do it the better and the later you do it at night the better so like when i get up i will write, look out the window and i will check to see whether it's snowing raining or doing nothing and then I will try to see if, what the wind direction is or the wind, if it feels very windy out or not very windy. If it's sunny, I will write that down. If it's cloudy, I'll write that down. Then I'll look at the temperature and I'll look at the barometer and see where that is and I write those numbers down also. So that's what you do and you do this every day because each month, like tomorrow is January, and then the 15th would be February, and it goes 15, 16, 17, 18, it's going January, February, March, all the way up to November, 20, the 24th is November. You never know what December is because December, the whole cycle starts all over again. Now I learned this from my mother, and my mother learned it from her great aunt. So this has been passed down for a, a long time. My mother would be almost 100 years old Next year she'd be a hundred. She's nine. She'd be ninety-nine if she was still alive. So it was her great aunt. So you figure this is good. Have got to be at least a good couple hundred years old. This method of doing it. And I only knew one other person, and I never really got to talk to him because he died. By the time I found out that he was doing it, he was so old, and he was his mind wasn't right, and then he passed away. And that was the only other person that I ever heard that had this method of calculating the weather. So, and a lot of people think that you're using the Farmer's Almanac. I have no idea what the Farmer's Almanac says. And so it's just whatever you see outside your own window at your own house. Okay, that's the weather for today. I'm going to put in a little video of the snow. I had a request to show the snow 
and I also put in a little extra video of the chickens going out. They were inside the house, but then um, a couple of them got brave and they went across a little bit of snow to the grassy area and then the rest of them went out. So they were all in the outside today, which surprised me. The temperature was in its 40s. So um, they were finding the earth probably wasn't solid anymore. It was frozen when I, when I went out to feed them this morning, but it, I think it softened up. And also, I got mail today. I got mail from Karina. This Isn't this cute? She's put a little sticker on there. It's a Ray sticker. Um, and she put some other stickers on. It's so cute. I'm going to peel these off real careful. And my kids will put them in their sticker books. But I haven't even opened it. I haven't opened it. See, it's still sealed. It's still, I haven't opened it. I have no idea, Karina. I, this surprised me. When my husband came in, I says, did you order something? He goes, no. And I go, oh, I didn't either. And then we looked at the return address and it was from Karina. It's from, I don't even know what it is, but we're gonna find out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's see, we'll pull out. Here's a card with an adorable lamb on it. No, no it's bear, not, it's no. a bear. <laughs> bear. I guess I don't know my animals. <laughs> And a candy cane sticker on the back. Oh, how cute. He's wearing a, let's see. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful card. Oh my goodness, it sparkles and it's so pretty. Look at this, look at this, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, I, did she make it? No, no, it opens, it does open. Oh my goodness, it opens. Um, I won't read it now, but I will read it after. I thank you so much. Let me see what else is in there. Let's see what's in there. I'll pull everything out. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of stuff. <gasps> I got stickers. Uh, my, I love these well, uh, package stickers. These are so nice. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and there's something wrapped up. You see, it's wrapped up. I have no idea. We will have to unwrap it. Oh. An ornament for my tree. I will put this on my tree. Isn't that beautiful? Red is my color. Red and gold. Look at that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, how pretty. Oh, and it's so sparkly. So pretty. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, it's unwrapped part way. It's still got more wrapping. <laughs> this is like Christmas. And it's taped. Oh, so I got to untape it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 look at, look at, look at, it's got pigs on it, how oh, cute, oink, 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 how oh, cute, two. oh, there's two here, oh my goodness, there are, <gasps> oink and moo, <laughs> how cute, oh my goodness, this will hang on my cupboard, these are adorable, I, 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 I I've got oh, Nona and Poppy there, but you'll have to put some screws above so I can put yep. these above. Yeah, who are you going to be? Are you going to be the oink or are you going to be the moo? Uh, whatever you want. <laughs> I think I'll be moo. You can okay. be oink. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll ask the kids which one they think we should be. How cute. Oh, those are darlings. Oh my goodness. She should be the piggy because she likes the piggy. Who? Emily? Um, Emily, Emily loves pigs. pigs so I know she it. Would say it was, you yeah. Know. And this beautiful bag. Look at this. I have a, a bag, um, a gift bag. How cute. I love the ribbons. Look at that orange. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And with a, a tag that I can write somebody's name on. Thank you so much, Karina. Karina, this is such a surprise. Such a big surprise. Oh my goodness. It is so nice of you. Thank you. Oh, this tag's in here. What's this? Oh, and there's, oh, there's lens wipes. I need these. <laughs> I have glasses and these are, I really do. These are, that's really great. Uh, lens wipes. Oh my goodness. That I could use. Now the bag is empty. Now it's empty. See, now it's empty. Oh my goodness. And I will read the card. I thank you so much. This is so darn, darn, darn cute. I love it. Oh, I love it. I got so warm. Woo -hoo. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Karina. She is, Karina is um, Kimberly, Mommy and Kimberly. I, I, I have to look it up, Karina. I just know you by name. Oh my goodness. Mommy and Kimberly, maybe. Did, I don't even think I put her in here because I know her name without looking it up. Yeah, I would, uh, maybe I did put her in. No, no, you're not in my book, Kar Karina, because I know your name. I don't have to have to look in here to see what is your name. Um, I will look it up in my, I have my iPad. Oh, dear. Everything is such a mess on my counter. I have so much stuff. I'm going to have to do a cut here. I was close. It's Mommy and Kimberly Adventures. That's the name of the channel. I will put a link in for their channel. You, she is so sweet. You, you do a video and Kimber, um, um, Karina comments on every single one. And Kimberly, hi, sweetie. <laughs> I say hi to her too. I, I know you're with your mommy and you're so sweet to your mama. And, um, but anyways, Kimberly does, not Kimberly, oh, good mm -hmm. Lord. Karina does um, Dollar Tree hauls and different, she goes into different stores, 99 cent store, I think. She goes into the stores and I go shopping with her because I don't like to leave the house and it's, I love seeing what she buys. And then she does taste tests of um, different foods. It's, it's been a fun, it's a fun channel to watch. And she's sweet and she's so sweet. I thank you. I had a request to show the snow outside. It's not real deep, but it's cold and it's snowy. This is the little bit of woods next door. The chickens are staying inside. It's a little chilly. Hello ladies. There they are. The little house on the hill. It looks so cute with snow on it. But this is the snow. And of course the garden is bare. Nothing in there. Oh, it is cold. Everything is bare. It's very unusual to have all 10 girls out at one time. There they are. Looking as pretty as a picture. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten of them are there. Wow. You girls all look so pretty. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.